All right, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises and honor and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great wisdom and taught me true. And double side taste to you, Aki, you men that are prophesied in the name throughout the four winds of the earth, but it's true with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. And to the Yahweh, the few sisters that are listening and learning, following in the men of the Lord to you, I say Shalom. Alright, coming back at you with another quick lesson through the Spirit and Power. Y'all about Shion Shai, Lord willing to edify and defeat the lamps. And y'all about Shion Shai, Lord willing. And hey, <laughs> like we told you, man, things are not looking good, man. Alright. <laughs> and this is from an article from CNN I stumbled upon. Alright. I'm going to do my take on it. Alright. This is from CNN.com. Business.com. Alright. And it reads, it says, coming this summer's gas stations. Running out of gas, so <laughs> and you know what that's gonna do, man. All right, that's gonna um, hey, it's gonna hype up the gas, man. All right, because hey, people are from you know they promising you peace and safety. You can start traveling again, and no, that's only gonna do is just look. It's it's just gonna <laughs> cause problems, man. Okay, so hey, we're at the end of this, man. If you can't see that this place, Babylon, the Great America, is through, I don't know what to tell you, man. OK, but a lot of you people believing in the news and believing that, you know, everything is going to go back to normal. Things are going to be OK and all of this crap. Yeah, you're going to find out, man, real soon. All right. Like it says in Isaiah, the third 30th chapter and uh, third verse, man, this place is about to become your confusion. All right. And I'm going to get that scripture. All right. So let's read a little bit. Let's read a little bit of this. And then I'm going to pull out some precepts and go when it's less be edifying. It says millions of people stuck at home for more than a year are expected to hit the road for much needed post pandemic vacations this summer. Good luck finding gas. <laughs> Not that there's a looming shortage of crude oil or gasoline. Rather, it is the tank. It's, it's the tankers, truck drivers needed to deliver the gas to stations who are in short supply so they're in short of us drivers man so you know if you if these drivers can't deliver you know the tank you know the gas to these uh gas stations where you get your gas from hey you ain't gonna be able to get no gas and that's not only gonna happen to the uh you know this happening to the gas that's also gonna happen to the food man all right these trucks are not gonna be able there's going to be a shortage of truck drivers delivering foods to your supermarkets, which is going to bring, the, uh, going to bring forth that famine, okay? So, hey, look, <laughs> we keep telling you, man, like you say, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come upon you. And, hey, we've been telling you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, things are not going back to normal, okay? And But a lot of you people... <laughs> stuck on stupid, all right, especially you Israelites, all right, a lot of you Israelites are just stuck on stupid, and, and all you dumbass Americans, really, is just stuck on goddamn stupid, and don't understand what the hell is going on, all right, but these people are promising you things are going to go back to normal, Psh, okay, you're going to find out, uh, let's see, I'm going to read this, it says, according to the National Tank truck carriers the industry trade group somewhere between 20 percent to 25 percent of tank trucks in the fleet are parked head heading into this summer due to a uh paucity of quantity qualified drivers at this point in 2019 only 10 percent of trucks were sitting aisle for that reason okay so <laughs> this place is through man okay let's see i'm gonna read this down here we've been dealing with a short a drive a driver shortage for a while but the pandemic took that issue and what was that word um met metazantize it metazantize it said ryan Shublo, the executive vice president of the N NTTC, it certainly has grown exponentially. All right, indeed, drivers 
left the business a year ago when gasoline demands ground to a near halt due during the early pandemic re related shutdowns. And hey, more shutdowns are coming, all right? It ain't over yet, all right? You're going to have more shutdowns, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to read out of this. I'll put the rest in the description box, man. But, you know, y'all just want to make this little quick lesson, all right? Because, hey, we keep telling you, Babylon is through, man. You ain't, ain't going to, you know what? Right here in the scripture. I'm going to, uh, let's see where I want to start. Mm. I'm going to start it. Yeah. Perfect scripture, man. All right. This is Second Israel chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famines and great death, the beginning of wars and the power to stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right. The Bible tells you, man, in uh, Ephesians 5 and verse 15, it says, Be circumspect, not walking not as fools, but as wise. Redeem the times because the days are evil. All right, we're about to enter into Jacob's trouble. Okay? And a lot of you Israelites are just, just going along with the program, going out and getting jabbed up, and hey, not knowing what's coming. All right? Not knowing what's coming down the pipeline. But hey, you're going to find out, man. All right? Verse 19, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And that's talking about two-thirds of you Israelites, man. Okay? Verse 21, the point. Behold, victuals sh shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. A lot of you are going to get back out there and Go back to thinking, well, you really think you're about to go back to your wickedness, all right? <laughs> That's really what you Israelites want, man. Mainly you Israelites, especially you Israelite women, you want to go back to these clubs and go back to being, you know, sluts and whores. Excuse my language, but hey, it is what it is. I, mean, I got to be honest with you. A lot of you people just want to go back to doing folly shit, man. But hey, like I say, let's read on. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sore, famine, and great confusion. This place is about to become your confusion, man. Okay, so hey, this place is having on the greatest through, man. It ain't going to go back to normal. Uh, Isaiah 24 and verse 10, since I said that. All right. Isaiah 24 and verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. This is true. Okay? Well, a lot of you ain't seeking for the truth. A lot of y'all are not seeking answers. All right? You, look, you better start seeking those answers before too late because, hey, as soon as the prophets are gone, that's it. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be looking for all the answers. You're gonna be looking for the prophets. You're gonna be looking for the men of the Lord on the internet, on YouTube, on the highways and byways. You're not gonna find us, all right? Hey, because hey, pretty soon this troop is gonna be gone. The famine of the word is gonna sink in, all right? Which we're very close to. Okay, there's a crying for wine in the street. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. That you people think that the mirth is going to come back. The joy. That wickedness you people was once doing. Man, please. It ain't coming back. And which would pay, take me to my next scripture, man. All right. First Thessalonians chapter 5. And I'm going to start at verse, verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is so coming as a thief in the night. The day of Yahweh Bashi Yashai is coming like a thief in the night, okay? So, hey, it's going to catch a lot of you Israelites off guard, man. All right? Verse 3, here's the point. For when they shall say peace and safety, all right, they promise you on the news. They're telling you on the mainstream media that you can go back to doing the stuff that you used to do. All right? You know, they, you know the regulation about that so-called mass thing, and, you know, you know what it is. I ain't got to say it because, you know, you got to be careful. But nevertheless, they promising you things are going to go back to normal. Things are about to, <laughs> about to be all good again. Yeah, okay. All right, verse uh, 3. 
First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, man. All right? And a lot of you ain't redeeming the times, man. You don't know what times you're in. All right? Better, hey, wake up before it's too late. Okay? This is Jeremiah chapter 30. In verse 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble, okay? Which is not far off, okay? Right? We're in the we're in the stages of Jacob's trouble, but hey, I guarantee you, by, let's say by the summer, probably by June, July, somewhere in between, hey, that's when it's going to go full blown, all right? Because all, because there's a lot of things that are happening, all right? So, hey, that's going to lead up to Jacob's trouble going full-blown, okay? Let's see. Let me get one more. Jer yeah, yeah, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take bound for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. This place will not be healed, man. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. All right? So people are going to be going back to their own lands and their own countries, okay? The ones who already been, you know what? All right? So, hey. Anyway, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaching unto heaven. And it's lifted up even to the sky. So the judgment of this place, the sins of this place, all right, has reached into the ears of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Like it says, uh, their hurtful words are fulfilled. Let's get that. All right. Uh, let me get the one in Revelation 18, chapter, and then I'm going to get the one in um, Second Israel. Let's read that. Uh, Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven the sins of babylon the great america has reached unto heaven and reached into the ears of yahweh yahushai how through the prophets prophesying sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof and yahweh have remembered her iniquities verse 6 reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works and the cup which she have filled filled to her double so america is about to receive double man for all the wickedness they have done for the, the what they've done to the children of israel etc okay uh let's see let's the scripture. Mm. I'm going to start at verse 5. Second Hebrews chapter 15, verse 5, the point is in verse 6. Behold, behold, said the Lord, Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That is what's coming to Babylon the Great. Ain't nothing good coming to Babylon the Great America. Okay? Verse, um, verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. So the works of this place has been fulfilled, man. All right. So, hey, the glory of about Shion Shai is about to bring that harsh judgment upon this place. Death and destruction to this place, okay? So, hey, this place is absolutely through. So don't believe in thing these people are telling you, okay? Because, hey, you're going to get caught if you do. That's it for you, all right? Uh, let's see, anything else? No, that's okay. That's all I had, man. You know, I just want to do this little short and quick lesson straight to the point. All right, so Lord, when I pray this little quick lesson was edifying. Call on you now, you by seeing all shy about Shimra Kakadash. Double honesty, the elders and apostles of Great Moonstone told me his truth and double side taste tell you, Akim, you men that are prophesying and name throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing this truth, thought, righteousness, and sincerity. See you with another lesson, Lord, when Kwame Asherah, Shanga Wam, and a Baba Ball. And I bought out of Wong. Till next time I say Sean Wong.